I think I think one of the things that we forget is that for young people contemplating study abroad, that we're talking about a a massive step outside their comfort zone. And I think what we can do as institutions to facilitate this, to make them more open to the idea, to, to appeal to those students who are more cautious and reserved, is to ensure that we offer them smaller, shorter expeditions in earlier years, high school and first year university, second year, uh, in order to open up the, their tolerance to leaving the country. Uh, I think we can create programs that make it much easier for them to transfer credit to, to see this as part of their educational program rather than a, a detour that's a nice luxury but not something that they can afford. Uh, we can ensure that there's funding available to help them avoid financial fear. I mean, the fear that holds them back includes finances, it includes uh, sort of being out of their comfort zone, it includes the, 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 the sense that um, this isn't going to contribute to them becoming part of society. So shorter stints with funding available uh, and, and taking a more incremental view. Not saying, no, we want them to go for a full term abroad and it needs to be really abroad and it should be outside their linguistic comfort zone and it should be in a culture where they're challenged on what they eat and how they live. Let's start small. Let's say a, a diversity field trip within their country and then uh, a short-term trip abroad that's maybe just pure tourism and then you get them into a longer stay and, and work our way there. You know, global citizens aren't created in a single stint and they need to keep our minds open with the idea that, that it's not all or nothing. We, incremental steps are probably the most likely path to success here at encouraging students to go abroad who might otherwise be applied.